my friends, and welcome to Ecole de Missile, an opportunity offered to learners to keep on learning in these very particular circumstances. I'm Mr. Gochi Ondong, teacher of English in 4-4. Today, we are going to learn the simple past or preterite, regular or irregular verb. Indeed, everybody uses it every day. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to use correctly any ordinary verb into the past. Here we have some questions. Question one, what did you study yesterday? Two, did he understand that text? Number three, where did you go last Sunday? Number four, didn't you visit a friend? On the other side, we have the answer. Let us examine the following model sentences from the different questions below. Answers. Well, number one, the answer is, we study English, an English text yesterday. Number two, no, he did not understand it. Number three, last Sunday I went to church. Number four, no, I didn't. I wore TV. So, we have text number one here. You are going to identify the subject, the verb, and the auxiliaries. Subject. I, he, we, you, verse, study, studies, go, the answer is went, watched, visit, understand, auxiliary equal dear. Task 2. Classify this verb into two groups. Group 1. Regular. Study. Visit. What? Group 2. Irregular. Go. Understand. Task number 3. Past simple formation with regular verbs and regular verbs. Regular verbs. A. In affirmative form, what do you add to the verb? We have normally subject plus verb plus ed. Example. We can find it in the sentence number four. Watched. We have some exception as verb ending in I preceded by a consonant change in I and add ed by the hand. You can find it in sentence number one where we have I, I or we study. Number two, we have with irregular verbs. They vary from the infinitive to the past participle going through the preterite. The student should memorize them. Where you are, you should memorize them. Example, girl, the past is went. Understand, the past is and the stool. See the list of regular verbs where you are. B. In the negative form, what is the structure? 
The structure is subject, last, dear, last, not, last buzz of verb, last, subject, where you can find I, you, we, and they. The answer is in the sentence number two. In the simple past only, did is used as auxiliary with ordinary verbs in the negative form. What is the structure? In the negative form, the structure is subject plus dear plus not plus basal verb where you can find I, you, and they. Example, sentence number two. In the simple past only, did is used as auxiliary with ordinary verbs. C. In the interrogative form, invert the subject with did, where you can find did plus subject plus basal verb plus question mark or interrogative mark. Example, question one, two, and three. D, in interrogative four, we have the structure is didn't plus subject plus buzz or verb plus question mark or interrogative mark. Example, question number three. Now, we have an evaluation. Exercise one, use one of the verb in the simple past. Rich, enjoy, die, want, start, stay, play, Rear, open, finish. Sentence number one, Ralph. As Steve just once yesterday. Number two, they play at nine and at half past ten. Number three, when I was a child, I to be a teacher. Number four, two weeks ago, I occupied with my classmates in Canada. Five, the train was tough, so I, the windows we the windows too are fresh. Six. My father, at the age of 73. Seven. Day, the visit of the natural services in Congo. Eight. It's very hot today. Or felt it. Yesterday. Nine. Acre. We've count Dracula for a month. Here we have the answers. Rough bridge is stiff just once yesterday. Day play. At the play start at nine and finish at of past year. Three. When I was a child, I want to be a teacher. Number four. Two weeks ago, I played a kid with my classmates in Canada. Five. The train was stuff, so I opened the window to have fresh. Six. 
My father died at the age of 73. Seven, they enjoyed the visit of the natural services in Congo. It is very hot today, or fought it, rain yesterday. Nine, Akira, stay with kind regular for a move. Exercise number two, put the verb between brackets and the simple past. Where you are, shall the list for regular verbs. Number one, the baker put the bread in a basket. Number two, Ted lied to his sister. Three, Hilary wear her new dress and leave for the dance. Four, I borrow some money from her. Five, she tried to save the queen, but she fell. Six, the storm shared the roof. Seven, we are of Madrid, we are the film match. Eight, we find the fifth and sent him to the jail. Here we have the answers for exercise number two. If you found it, congratulations. Number one, the baker put the bread in the basket. Number two, tell the lie to his sister. Three, Larry will her new dress on the left for the dance. Four, I borrow some money from her. Five, she tried to save the queen, but she failed. Six, the storm show the roof. Seven, we are of Madrid won the final match. Eight, we found the fifth and sent him to jail. Exercise number three. You are the form indicator between bracket. One, Sam ate a mango every two weeks. There, yeah, you are going to put into interrogative form. Number two, I always followed my father's advice. Negative form. Three, didn't we speak French in Congo? Affirmative form. Four, I look like his father. Negative form. Five, Peter did not visit the museum. Inter negative form. Six, Marx did not play. Oh, excuse us. Marx did not pray in monasteries. Interrogative form. Seven, she does not wear a first mail. Intro negative form and affirmative form. The answer for exercise number three. If you found it, congratulations. Number one, the answer is the sun eat a mango every two weeks. Two, I did not always follow my father's advice. Sorry, we spoke French in the Congo. Four, he did not look like his father. Five, did Peter visit the museum? Peter visited the, mu the museum. Six, did Marky pray in monasteries? Seven, didn't she wear a first mark? Did she not wear a first mark? She wore a first mark. Well, now, when conjugating the ordinary verbs in the simple past or preterite, we use the auxiliary did in the negative form as subject plus did plus not plus bus or verb in the interrogative form. Did plus subject plus verb plus question mark and in the interrogative form form did plus not plus 
verb plus question mark. Dear friends, we are at the end of our today's lesson on the simple past tense of the ordinary verbs. I'm sure that you have understood the lesson and will use it correctly in any situation. Thank you very much and see you soon.